Yo, what's going on guys, it's Houston Sports Talk back in the video today. Today, the Jacksonville Jaguars upset the Buffalo Bills 25-20 to in the London International Series. Great win for the Jacksonville Jaguars. As a Houston Texans fan as a, and as a you know fan of the Texans who the Jaguars are in in our division, not a hundred percent happy uh, on this you know on this uh, win uh, for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Also, not only that, but this makes it even worse. I was facing Travis ETM in fantasy, but thank God I had DJ Moore Thursday night because Travis scored forty points or near forty points, while DJ scored fifty two or fifty three. All right. Getting into this game, the Jags win it 25-20, to get the upset. Uh, this was a low-scoring first half. You know what this reminded me of? And it's funny enough that this this you know, this know game, compared to the game I'm comparing it to, was also in London. Last year's game, London game, between the Green Bay Packers and the New York Giants. The final score in that game was 27-22, to and the Packers were favored to win in that one, and the Giants won it. Uh, by five points, just like the Jags winning by five in this one. A similar type of score, 25 to 20. Uh, that one, 27 to 22. I thought that game, uh, I thought this game today, this morning, uh, between the Jags and the Bills reminded me a lot like last year's London game between the between the um, Packers and the Giants. All right, scoring summary. So first quarter, you had two scores, two for the Jaguars. Trevor Lawrence with a six-yard touchdown pass to Zay Jones, and then Travis Etienne runs it up with a two-point conversion. It's 8-0. to zero. Then a 44-yard field goal for Brandon McManus, and it's 11-0. to zero. Second quarter, uh, the Bills had no offense in the first in the first half. Josh Allen throws a 15-yard touchdown pass to Stephon Diggs. It's 11-7 to seven going into halftime. Uh, that, was the, that was like the last minute, too. Uh, fourth quarter, no scores in the third quarter. Fourth quarter, you have four touchdowns. Travis Etienne, six-yard touchdown run. Brandon McManus, extra point is good, 18-7. to Then Josh Allen, 19-yard touchdown pass to Gabe Davis. Two-point conversion is failed. It's 18-13. to Then Travis Etienne, 35-yard touchdown run. It's 25-13 to with the extra point going in. And then a Josh Allen, three-yard touchdown run, and that is it. Um, and Josh Allen led the Bills in rushing yards. So game leaders, Trevor Lawrence to... 25 for 37, 315 passing yards, one passing touchdown, while Josh Allen threw 27 for 40, 359 passing yards, two passing touchdowns, and one interception. Travis Etienne uh, for the Jaguars had 26 carries for 136 rushing yards and two touchdowns, while Josh Allen had four carries for 14 yards and one touchdown. Calvin Ridley had seven receptions for 122 receiving yards, and Stephon Diggs had eight receptions for 121 receiving yards and one touchdown. Getting into some other stats, Trevor Lawrence also ran for 31 yards, um, and they're they're you know with running backs that actually had positive yardage in this game. Damian Harris had 13 rushing yards. Latavius Murray had six rushing yards, and James Cook, their their running back one, had five carries for minus four yards. Terrible performance from him. Uh, besides Calvin Ridley, Christian Kirk had six receptions for 78 receiving yards. Etm had 48 receiving yards. Ingram had 28 receiving yards. Gabe Davis had six receptions for 100 receiving yards and one touchdown. Fumbles. Trevor Lawrence lost two fumbles in this game. Fumbled. He ended up fumbling three times in this game and lost two. Uh, Stevon Diggs lost a fumble in this game, and that was recovered by Trevon Walker. Um, this was a you know this was a turnover game. I mean, Darius Williams had an interception for the Jags that was thrown by Josh Allen, um, and this was a this was a weird game. But yeah. Uh, use them your thoughts on the game. That's the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed and peace out.